Um, although, I mean, on the subject of um, sanctions, um, the we have uh, we have heard that Boeing, um, which seems to invest a lot more money in hitmen and safety, um, they they are claiming that one of the reasons they can't deliver um, seven eight seven dream liners, quote unquote, or nightmare liners, um, is due to sanctions on Russia. Mm. Um, do you buy it, Alex? I don't. Um, I don't. Well, I mean, and this was like. Part of the thing too is I don't have the article up yet, no, uh, but okay. you were explaining to me that this was uh, a heating component, right? That that was uh, affected by these sanctions, and um, I don't understand why a heating component is uh, necessary to keep uh, a plane door from falling off. Yes, or, or a plane window <laughs> yeah, uh, popping right. uh, mid air. Um, but yes, we've we've had a second a second. Uh, Whistleblower death. Um, uh, first, there was a Boeing whistleblower who was testifying to. Was it the Senate or they were they giving a deposition? Mm. They were cl- they, there was a a Boeing whistleblower who was who was testifying uh, that Boeing deliberately cut corners on safety for reasons of profit, and he told friends, "If I end up dead, I didn't commit suicide." And then, ooh, he's found dead from a gunshot wound in the boot of his car because that's exactly mm. how he would commit suicide. Is is where nobody sees it um, in, a, in a cramped, dark space. Uh, but but yes, um, the, the, the a second whistleblower has now the, a, a second whistleblower's life claimed by a freak sudden onset infection. So I'm yeah. at least getting more imaginative right. um, with the stories. But um, you have a general interest in in planes. I mean, well, I yeah, I'd, like I'd, 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 I'd like to talk about this. Uh, this story really Sorry. quick. This is in War is Boring. I think that's some kind of think tank's like uh, publication. Yeah. Um, but it's actually republished from the Dayton Daily News in Ohio. Uh, aviation maintenance repair and overhaul company Sierra Nevada has won an Air Force contract that will create work at Dayton International Airport in Beaver Creek. Uh, Sierra Nevada Corp, based in Englewood, Colorado, was awarded $13 billion cost plus incentive fee, fixed price incentive. And cost, well, whatever. Uh, <laughs> what, what does that even mean? Yes, um, nothing. Sometimes called the doomsday plane, the center is meant to be a strategic command and control military aircraft used in war and in emergency situations. Uh, the doomsday plane, it is exactly what it sounds like it is. It is a plane designed to carry the president and the uh, the um, Department of Defense chief, the Secretary of Defense, in the event of a nuclear war. Um, th- that way they are able to command the battlefield from the sky. Um, so what does this tell you about the direction that the elites are moving us in when they are now investing $13 billion in a, uh, in a new um, doomsday plane? Um, I have the Wikipedia page for... I think if they gave it a cheerier name... I'm sorry? Like, if they gave it a cheerier name, like, people would yeah. be so worried, like, it's the happy place. Yeah, right, times. right. And, like, there, it's a branding issue. You get, so, you get Frank Lund's the previous, uh, the previous version was, um, actually manufactured by Boeing. Um, Ooh. no surprise that, uh, they have not got, they, they did not secure the new contract. Well, they, they like, uh, they, they like the sound of the name Doomsday Plane, I think, right. Boeing. They were drawn to that. Yeah. I didn't realize that it actually had to be safe. Right. Safe. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, you can't have the president of the United States, you know, flying through the open window. Yeah, absolutely. Um, right. So the this is the uh, the previous version. The E-4 serves as a survivable, survivable mobile command post for the National Command Authority, namely the president of the United States, the secretary of defense and successors. Uh, so it's got you know briefing rooms, meeting rooms, um, and There's a presumably child sex uh, chamber, <laughs> right? <laughs> piloted by Epstein, right? I think. Yeah, like, that's his, his his new his new role. Um, but yeah, I mean it's it's inter- it's interesting as well that the, the the continuity of government government planning has been touched upon by this like really kind of emerged in the 1970s and then it, 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 it expanded massively under Reagan and they have all of these plans for well once the president dies there will be six designated people who it, and it, it is ready to kind of this line of accession so if the president dies this person takes over yeah. if they die this person takes over and so on um, there are also components of it that are like deeply disturbing which are still extant as far as we know 
And there, it was originally called Debt Com, which meant detain communists. So there was like a list of like hundreds of people who, in the event of war with the Soviet Union, would need to be jailed immediately in the, in the manner of Japanese sure. internment. Yeah. Um, they probably have a, lot, a much larger pool of people they want to jail now. Oh um, yeah, domestic extremists. Oh yeah, uh, the uh, that that phrase, beloved of Brit- the uh, British security and intelligence forces, which means absolutely, avowedly means absolutely nothing. 